Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's a so cool. What? Hi, I'm Tarika and I am a citizen of Seattle. Welcome to Miss Pam. Come on in. Martyr Sauce Pop Art Museum, AKA Miss Pam. It's a fun little spot. It has a lot of um, historical components as well as just fun whimsical elements, larger than life um, installations, bringing your attention to things that you may or may not have uh, forgotten over the years. As you enter into Miss Pam, you will be warmly greeted by this giant lunchbox, Julia. Julia is of the hit television show, Julia, <laughs> that aired in 1968, starring the late, great Diane Carroll. It was one of those things that got buried in time. The objects that you see in Miss Pam are all things that I fabricated that were near and dear, that were things that I grew up around, um, things that kind of have a backstory behind them. So I invite people to come and play with my toys. Um, this is a viewfinder that has steels of Julia, which I think is just pretty wild. So you have it all in Pioneer Square. So just took you by the pool hall. We have Davidson's Gallery and Glasshouse Studio where you can go in and watch um, artists blow glass, which is so, so fly. So we are at the extraordinary London Plain. It is one of the best neighborhood spots. Great coffee, great pastries, great breakfast, great brunch. And there's something for everybody. And it's gorgeous. It's just stunningly gorgeous. There's just a lot always happening. It's never a dull moment in Pioneer Square, that's for sure. And it's the oldest neighborhood in Seattle. It's the first neighborhood in Seattle. It's the arts district of Seattle. So it's, it's the, actually the first neighborhood in the country that ever held um, an art walk. So this is home of the first art walk ever in the entire country. I'll just leave it at the country because I'm not sure about the world part. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, it's a pretty magical spot. All right, so fun fact about me, I used to play the bass back in the day, but my husband is a famous guitar player. <laughs> Um, I'm taking you to one of our favorite spots in the neighborhood. They are our extended family, Emerald City Guitar. Clearly I can't play the guitar today or the bass. I'm not gonna embarrass myself, but I definitely want you to see a true Seattle gem. Just let myself in. We're at Emerald City Guitar. Bow, bow, bow. So come with me, check it out, check it out. I have to say on record, if it wasn't for Emerald City Guitar, we would not be here in Pioneer Square. My husband, who's a guitarist, he knew of Emerald City Guitar before we even landed in Seattle. Um, but in order for us to you know, make the big leap and kind of settle in Pioneer Square, it is a staple. I mean, not just even the neighborhood, just Seattle at large. Everybody who's anybody knows to go come here. It's a treasure. It's a national treasure, for sure. Um, it's a cultural landmark. Seattle is really kind of laid back, chill during the winter months and during the summer and spring months. It's kind of where the city really starts to come alive. All right. <laughs> hey, kids, it's so good to see you. Ah, yes, please. The spot, this is my favorite spot on the planet. So Ryan, my husband, will be at Emerald City Guitar. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> bon Voyage. Well, this outfit, Bon Voyage. 90% of my closet, I think, is Bon Voyage. It's a great shop. You can find anything and everything here, even things you're not looking for, uh, you had no intention of buying, you will walk out with. Um, yeah, I've gotten so many just amazing gems. Hiding in the court. I never would have saw this had we not gone up these steps. Coming out with an outfit. Find this. I mean, come on. It's a sweatsuit. I'm gonna go jogging. Empathy. Keith, I got something I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy this on my way out. Look at that! 
That was not planned. All right, well, I am all done. Got some good finds. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you next time in Seattle.